Dave are here, and today we are building me a spamf. Um, I have wanted one of these things for quite some time, and if you saw some of the if you saw the previous video where I did all those Warhammer 40k things for uh, my friend Chris, it's because he sent me in in lieu of payment. Uh, he printed me a bunch of spamf parts, so that's what we're going to work on today. I have here. A brand new still in box Falcon Fire that I am going to use as the base for it. And we're just going to go right over to the workbench so I can show you all of the pieces that got printed out for it. Okay, so here in the here's the spam fear, and here in this box is I believe all the pieces. I don't I think this might be for something else, I want to say, possibly. Or it could be an additional plunger head and neck. It might be an extra plunger and um, a reinforced catch. I think that might be it. But yeah, so here are the primary spam parts that he printed out for me, which is uh, the body the, and all like the pieces that attach together. Uh, I have here the printed the 3d printed um breach here and i know it was here somewhere but um he did also send me a piece of aluminum oh it's still there sorry uh and also a barrel piece so there's that and then in the gray he also printed um what looks like a spacer the release parts for the uh i want to say for the the mag release that's it uh the mag release pieces and um 3d printed a nice piece of picatinny rail then in this bag i have all of those pieces again along with two different front ends a the piece of Picatinny rail uh, looks like a spacer. Uh, all of the the trigger, the all of the uh, internal pieces and everything in purple. And he also did it in red, which is, I mean, I wasn't expecting all of the extra pieces. So that's kind of why I was nice and I did the extra blaster for him, but yeah. I also ordered three hardware kits. Uh, one I ordered from, oh, I forgot who it was, and I am sorry, but I will put the name here of who I ordered the first kit from. But it also, that kit was getting delayed every once in a while, and I'm not 100% sure why. So I ordered two additional hardware kits directly from Gavin Fuzzy. Uh, so I have three hardware kits for this thing. So if I ever want to build another spam for two, I can definitely do that. But I have the instructions for this. I'm going to try and put this together. Um, I don't know if I'm going to record everything, but I wanted to show off the pieces and everything that Chris printed off for me, which again, I greatly appreciate. Um, I'm going to try and figure out the color combo that I kind of want to do with this because I have options and yeah just see where where it kind of goes from here so um, I will be back with probably some hopefully some good progress made and then we'll see where it kind of goes from there okay so here is my completed spam um yeah, I'm sorry I didn't show any of the build or anything like that. It was, honestly, I was just trying to make sure I understood all the instructions and figured out where stuff went and all. But yeah, over and all, this was honestly a really fun build. I just did it in an, like what I had left of the afternoon after recording with Arlene earlier. And I gotta say, this thing is dope. I really wish I had one of these things sooner because this thing is really fun. I have to say though, one thing which I'm not terribly surprised with because I do have an aluminum barrel in here is this is very front heavy between the parts and everything. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a weighty blaster, but 
the prime is still fairly light on it which i'm happy with i can load this thing up with talon mags and i mean this thing shoots really nicely last one yeah the print quality that chris took on this was amazing there was only honestly one spot that i had like maybe a little trouble with and the only other issue i had was the and i'm honestly i'm actually glad he did this was for the new printed breach itself the part that connects the slide to the breech, it was a little thicker on the print than what was on the stock. So I had to trim that down a little bit on the slide in order to get it to fit and close properly. But honestly, I'm fine with that because that's still a fairly well-built stock piece. And I'm happy with it in the 3D printed part because I know that's a sturdy piece and looking at that compared to the stock barrel or i should say the stock breech it's a little on the stock part that's pretty thin so i'm glad it's a little thicker on that one so that was you know definitely just well worth it there uh for the accoutrements i guess you can say i did go with a lot of the red parts that chris sent because i mean let's face it this thing matches my colors so well and i'm just so happy with it um i did very very minimal and basic painting on it uh the stock pieces which are really just the slide and uh the back the back end of the uh pistol portion of it i just did those in a gray vinyl dye and then i actually did a clear coat of lacquer over it uh just because i wanted to kind of give it a good solid feel to it but yeah that was the only real painting i did i left the plunger tube white because i didn't want to worry about having to paint it and then the paint peeling off and all of a sudden i'm like screw it i'll just leave it white but yeah i'm th this thing looks so freaking good i'm so happy with it uh chris thank you again for getting me all the parts and i have spares if i can get the uh the main portions of this built i could probably build another two or three spamps with what i have in uh parts left over um definitely a second one for sure um a third might be pushing it but yeah if i wanted to i could build another one which again i'm totally awesome but that's where i'm going to end it for this video so as always if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel please throw us a like and subscribe leave a comment down below let me know what you think of my spam and if you have one what do you think of yours and how do you like it let me know in the comments down below i love reading them and all and oh don't forget to click that little bell icon otherwise you may not know when me and arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel and we still have a p.o box so if you want to send us some snail mail uh check the description check the about page of this um yeah it's all there if you want to write us a letter it's awesome uh, but again, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Later.